good morning everyone uh, i'm sonu rai and i'm going to discuss in this video about how to edit wall properties in revit architecture and how we'll work with the properties palette and how we'll change the properties and materials of the wall so i am going to in uh, architecture wall i am going to select wall architectural and in properties palette you are seeing basic wall generic 8 inches so suppose uh, the in constraint it is given location line which is wall central line the same thing which is here suppose i am say, uh, changing to wall finish face exterior it will change here also and uh, this base constraint is like the base level from where you are going to draw the wall and base offset is how much offset you are going to give from the base of the wall means uh, by default it will be 0 ft 0 inches and top constraint from where you are going to end the wall height that means um, uh, it is now unconnected that means whatever height if you want you can give here also it is uh, given uh, height unconnected and if i am changing it to level 2 and then it is uh, changed automatically here that top constraint up to level 2 so for time being generally we used to keep unconnected height so unconnected height is by default 10 ft and uh, then uh, all these are uh, if i am going to draw a wall suppose i am going to draw a wall i am taking this wall central line and i am this base constraint is at level 1 so i am going to draw a wall here so we'll go to view and uh, 3d view so you are seeing this wall which we have drawn just now we will go to realistic view and you are saying that it is from base constant base constant is this the base level so it is 0 ft 0 inches suppose i am going to draw another wall and i am going to make this base offset uh 3 ft so i am making is 3 ft and clicking apply and if i am drawing next wall so it will be uh it will not visible here i will go to floor plan and i am going to take wall and i am making this base constraint 3 ft here i am drawing this base offset 3 ft and i am going to draw a floor to know the difference i am drawing one floor plan here one floor here and i'm going to finish this and i'm going to view and you are clearly seeing that this wall is 3 ft from base constraint if i'm selecting this wall the base of base constraint is level 1 and base offset is 3 ft again if you are uh, i'm selecting this wall and making this zero again so it will come to base level so whatever uh, if we uh, want a base offset 1 ft 1 inch 6 inch 3 ft that you can add it from here and also you can change the wall height from this uh, 3d view if i am making this this arrow represents the wall height you can also drag these arrows and change the height of wall like this and you can warp 
but i will recommend that you should go to elevation view and select any wall if you want to make any height uh, changes you can also change from here whatever height you want you can use this arrow to increase the length increase the height and also you can use these dimensions suppose i am double clicking this and from uh, 21 feet i am making this 8 feet so wall will automatically change to 8 feet height so i will recommend just to use these dimensions because it will accurately bring the wall to 8 feet height and uh, there are many ways also you can uh, change in 3d view also if i will go to again level 1 and i am going to edit any properties of wall so suppose i am selecting this wall and uh, uh, again in this i have already discussed that top constant is 14 feet unconnected height also you can change from here suppose from 14 feet 9 inch i am making this uh, 20 feet wall apply if you go to view you can see clearly seeing that the height is increased to 20 feet again if you want to make to desired height and put whatever height if you want i am putting 12 feet it will come to 12 feet so these all are properties of wall in uh, property palette how will uh, increase uh, the base constant uh, how will change your base offset and uh, top constant unconnected unconnected height also you can change from here and these all are uh, structural uh, analysis again if i am selecting this wall and if you want suppose we are working in the uh, these all our wall are 8 inches in uh, width so in uh, india and many countries we use 9 inches wall or 230 mm wall but in revit in mm it will be given by default 200 mm or in if you take feet and inches it will be given 8 inches so suppose if you want to make 9 inches wall how will you do you will just uh, go to select this wall and go to edit type and in edit type this type properties this window will be opened and in this the family type is basic wall it will be given and type is generic 8 inch and there is some structure and graphics and material and finishes this will be given so you will have to uh, you have to be very judgmental in using this so first what you will do there is, it is written here duplicate and rename so whatever properties you are using you are going to change you have to first make it a duplicate copy that means the properties will uh, which you are applying here suppose i am going to make it 9 inches and apply some material that will be not applied to our default basic 8 inch wall if you not make duplicate then all the materials whatever changes you are going to do that will be applied applied to default revit family so you have to be very careful so first you will make duplicate here so i have uh, make duplicate here you can name this also generic 8 inch it will name automatically generic 8 inch to generic 8 inch 2 but i will make generic you can rename here 9 inch and you will click ok after that this wall name is change generic 9 inch ok that means it is just a name change but first uh, after that we are, we are required to change the properties also so for that you have to go to this structure and edit you click edit and this window edit assembly will be opened and in this uh, thickness many information are given like family is basic wall type is 9 inch total thickness it is by default it is 18 that we are required to change and also many information related to thermal conductivity resistance is given thermal mass is given that is very handful because rabbit is a beam software building information modeling those so these all are information are 
useful in sustainable uh, design so after that we will go to this uh, structure and in a structure th this is uh, the material panel where you will change the material and this is thickness which we are going to change now from 8 inch, 8 inch to 9 inch so for changing the thickness we are required to click it here and when you will click it after that you can change it to 9 inch and if you suppose if you want to change material also that also you can do it from here suppose i am going to in this uh, by category you have to just make a click here by mouse and again this window will be open in these three dots are given this is for changing the materials so you will just click this and after this this material browser will be opened and these all are uh, uh, Revit uh, basic default materials for material browser I, uh, I will uh, introduce a detailed video in this suppose I am going to change this brick common I am selecting this material brick common and I am double clicking and this material is applied here and, uh, and this thickness I have changed from 8 inch to 9 inch you are clearly seeing this total thickness now from 8 inch is showing 9 inch and again after that you will click ok then again ok and now in properties palette it is showing basic wall generic 9 inches so our uh, uh, by default family generic 9 8 inches there and, uh, and, and uh, whatever you have make changes here generic basic generic wall 8 inches is here suppose uh, i was telling few minutes back that if you not duplicate it that uh, means uh, changes were, were supposed to be applied here but if you make duplicate it will be applied to different uh, generic basic wall so you have to be very careful so this material is applied and thickness also we have changed we will just go and check in 3d view boom yeah, it is applied here you are clearly saying we are, i have changed the material also thickness this is 8 inch wall and this is 9 inch wall if i am going to level 1 and i am selecting this wall and going to take this uh, scale and you can check the dimension here and this is 9 inch and again i have selected this wall and taking this scale and and changing this this is 8 inches so you are clearly saying that how will we use the edit properties type for changing the materials thickness of wall and i have introduced you what, what are all these properties palette and after that how will you change the wall profile that i will tell you in next video so this was for today how we will uh, edit the properties in property of wall in uh, uh, properties palette and how will you change its uh, thickness how will you apply material and how, what is base constraint suppose i am selecting this the, what is this base constraint base offset top constraint unconnected height that will you will be now familiar with how you are going to work in your project so thanks for watching if you like my uh, video please subscribe to my channel press the bell icon beside the subscription button and give your valuable comment and we will continue with this wall properties in next video also thanks thanks for watching